Among traditional Chinese folk art forms, there is a unique form of talking and singing, performed by people who manipulate props carved from animal hide and cardboard. This is called shadow puppetry. Legend has it that more than 2,000 years ago, the Han Dynasty Emperor Wu Di missed his deceased concubine Lady Li so much that he was in low spirits all day long. The ministers tried every means to console the emperor before someone finally cut cloth and silk into the figure of Lady Li, attached the prods to the head and hands of the image and, with the help of candlelight, cast a shadow onto curtains in the palace to imitate the body movements of Lady Li, so as to relieve the emperor's love sickness. Later, people interpreted this legend as the origin of shadow puppetry. Shadow puppetry is the art of light and shadow, known as the forerunner of a modern film and television animation. Hunan shadow puppetry has always been the benchmark of modern Chinese shadow puppetry. On behalf of China, it often visits Asia, Europe, America, Oceania and other countries and regions for cultural and artistic exchanges and has also been performed for national and foreign leaders. While absorbing outstanding traditional Chinese culture, Hunan shadow puppetry also advances with the times. In terms of subject matter, from the cultural background of ancient Chinese emperors, kings, generals and ministers, to allegorical tales with implied meanings and adapted tales from foreign countries, and from showing the movements and images of characters to focusing on the expression of emotion and the internal spirit of the characters. Shadow puppetry undergoes constant enrichment and innovation in the selection of subject matter. Since its establishment in 1956, our centre has produced a large number of excellent plays. We have carefully selected The Turtle and the Crane, Three Mice and Spirit of the Peacock as representative works from different periods, which are unique in both performance techniques and artistic features. In terms of music, Hunan Shadow Puppetry has always been based on folk music and local operas. The three plays here have made a new breakthrough in the use of music as each play is completely accompanied by Chinese silk and bamboo musical instruments without any singing or dialogue. And the plot is mainly expressed by music image and the physical movements of the characters. Spirit of the Peacock features graceful music that accompanies elegant and exquisite performance. Three Mice is characterized by quick rhythm music that accompanies humorous and exaggerated performance. Especially in the production of Three Mice, sound from daily life, such as chopstick beating bowls, was used as main musical element, making the work both lively and full of children's fun. So far, this is the only shadow puppetry work to win the Wenhua Award, which is the highest award for Chinese drama. As shadow puppetry is a world class in tangible cultural heritage, the most traditional aesthetic features of China are also beautifully presented on its stage. For example, the stage design of Chinese painting style in The Turtle and the Crane and the attention to blank space show the design concept of Oriental aesthetics. Three Mice reflects the style of a bright-colored folk paper cutting. The change of scene 
in Spirit of the Peacock reflects the beauty of a simple artistic conception. At the same time, the reform of shadow puppetry lighting has resulted in a qualitative change from using ancient kerosene lamp to incandescent lamp and to computerized lighting. This has enabled the stage to have modern aesthetic beauty. As the saying goes, a handy tool makes a handy worker. The techniques involved in making shadow puppets constitute the core of the whole production process, so there is a saying that they form half of a play. Designers must go through a whole series of processes that include design drawing, copying, extending samples, carving, polishing, colouring and installation before the image of a character is completed. Each process requires designers and makers to devote themselves with the spirit of craftsmen. Only in this way can unique artistic images with distinctive features be produced. Performers of shadow puppetry must possess profound acting skills. In their daily training, in addition to hand manipulation skills, they also need to practice such skills as singing, speaking the lines, physical training and acting, as well as the ability to carefully observe and imitate things. The portrayal of every character calls for the tacit cooperation and repeated practice so that the performers can precisely control the movement, posture and mood of the characters and accurately convey these to the audience. Only in this way can the audience see vivid lifelike characters on the screen and artistic images with soul and vitality. Shadow puppetry is the epitome of superb traditional Chinese culture and art. So it possesses great vitality. It comes from the depths of history and carries on a dialogue with the contemporary audience through time and space. With the passage of time, Hunan shadow puppetry or the remaining the same as in the past has accumulated more vitality.